How does Google read my website? Hello and welcome back again. In this video session, we're going to see exactly what happens when Google comes to your website. Now, let's first understand this fact about Google. Google is a business. It's a global business that provides advertising opportunities through Google AdWords. It is in Google's best interest to show relevant results in its result set. Because when you're utilizing Google to bring in um, website traffic to your website, understand that before that web traffic becomes your customers, they are in fact Google's customers first. So therefore, to keep everyone happy, okay, Google must provide relevant result set. Now, knowing that, you may already have a website that's established and you're looking ways to optimize it, or whether you're thinking of creating a new website. Remember, core guidelines of Google does not change because Google wants you to provide relevant content engaging and useful content because then everyone's happy so therefore if you need to tweak your website according to the insights that you're learning in this training course then do so if you need to perhaps you know modify your landing pages that is already you know perhaps ranking but you want it to rank higher then still you can incorporate the knowledge that you will be learning in this course so therefore now let's take a look at a typical website in 2014 a typical website will have various different web documents whether it's HTML files or PHP files whether you've got an e-commerce website with many different products whether you've got you know videos images or PDF catalogs and so on okay it makes no difference meaning First thing, to let Google better understand your website, organize everything in a logical manner. That means, you know, if you've got a small site, perhaps you don't have to worry about this. But if you have a medium to large website, sit back because, you know, categorizing everything will only make Google understand your website better. Now, think of Google like a library. Okay, the, the Google database as a library. And imagine Google like a librarian. So when people search Google, they're basically saying to Google, okay, Google, go and look at your library and bring me, uh, bring me a book with this keyword, this keyword in it. So therefore, then you can imagine your website like a book. <laughs> you know, then categorizing everything, you know, having an index or having you know um, summary chapter names and so on and page numbering and all so on okay can be reasoned as you know having your website in in a professional and also logical um, manner so to speak keeping in mind that if you need to you know reorganize your website structure you know, utilize keywords within folder names. Okay, if you have a medium site, medium size site. So now we understand the importance of logical website structure because you know it will make your um, visitors' job easy as far as navigating through your website. And that's what Google does. It tries to mimic the visit a uh, particular internet surfer is having when they come to a landing page so therefore if you organize logically then your you know um, you know if you have logical perhaps navigation structure that's clearly visible and so on right if you have you know buttons that takes people to various portions if you have search option if you have html sitemap somewhere where if your visitor gets lost you know un unsure as to where they are on your landing pages then they can easily find things around your website okay that's what Google does it tries to work that out when it visits your website as well so 
knowing that let's have a look exactly what happens when Google comes to your website when Google first comes to your website to fetch a particular URL that you may have okay, it first looks for a file text file called robots.txt file okay? because within it you can tell Google where it can go on your website and where it is not allowed to go okay so it will obey the rule if you specify the rule for it which is you know user agent colon Google bot this layer colon nothing next to it means it can see your entire website but oftentimes you may want to say okay you know what I don't want Google to index this folder then you use this document now within this document you automatically by just using it you made Google's job much easy instead of trying to work all that out by itself by following all the links and so on okay, it all automatically knows what it can do and what it cannot do in terms of indexing right crawling right so then within that document you can say okay Google you know what I also have an XML sitemap and here's the location so knowing that because it fetched this document knowing that it will then go and look at your sitemap to see if there are any new um, URLs you included since last time it visited your website so therefore automatically two documents you know Google's crawling much efficiently now okay this is why you need to use them so then let's say it's gonna request this URL your landing page for example okay then let's say it's an HTML document so therefore this is how it reads your web page okay now it will from top to bottom as in start of HTML document to the end of HTML document from top it looks surely it looks at the URL but it also attaches a timestamp to that crawl process so that it doesn't you know it doesn't recrawl it every day or it tries to guess when it should crawl it next and so on so that timestamp is important it does this for every single web document that it indexes, right? So then it looks at the head portion of a um, web document. Head portion are visible to search engines like Google, okay? And within it, you can better guide Google to understand what your website is all about, what your landing page is all about. Because remember what Google's trying to do after it reads the web page after it reads everything looking at HTML elements it tries to mimic as to you know what when a user comes to that landing page you know what what do they see you know what is there right that's how it tries to work out the relevancy of your web page title surely it's an important element you know title you know, would you buy a book without a, a title? No. So therefore, you know, including keywords within that title is only smart. But you should also focus on click-through rates. So therefore, blending the both will allow you to create better title for your landing pages, both for ranking in Google, but also getting that click from the search results page, right? Now, meta description is only visible to Google. If you create it cleverly, then it will show it in its um, snippets, you know, search snippets as you see when you search Google, how it has that the text below the URL, right? But within it, you cannot actually describe what that landing page is. Okay, so whatever your landing page is talking about, you describe it in that meta description. Also, you can include the link. Um, you know directive as to canonical that means you're saying to Google okay you know what Google you may see the same content somewhere else on my website or somewhere else online on other websites where someone may have um, copied my page or shared it and so on right with this 
use a directive you're saying it doesn't matter where you see it just remember this is the original page so therefore with just including this you basically covered the duplication issues because Google is very efficient in determining uh, duplicate content okay also then it goes through your entire web page looking at headings looking at navigation structure looking at the text looking at in um, images if you have videos looking at the video name is there any captions or any you know any other information attached to that video and so on right then it reads the text and that's what it does when it comes to read your website it does this for your entire website whether you have 10 web pages whether you have 100,000 it continuously does this for each landing page that you have now knowing this then we can better optimize our landing pages so that we can rank in Google I thank you very much for learning with me let's continue learning proper search engine optimization I'll talk to you in the next video session thank you